Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Um, this video is going to be of the GMC Sierra, of the updates on it. I've done to it within a couple of weeks. Um, I'm also going to do this footage because I'm going to send it out to the shop tomorrow. Send it out to the shop tomorrow to get the swap done. So I'm going to update you guys on the update, uh, I mean on the truck. Uh, basically, I did the interior already on it. I'm going to show you guys the power doors I've done and all that um and I'm gonna show you guys the parts on the engine that I've gotten so far and we're gonna send it out um so here it is so the headers I'm gonna leave them here so I can cover them up and then I'll take them probably Wednesday uh here's the HD grill I got for it um the bumper is sold. I'm gonna take it off right now. The grill it should be sold tomorrow as well. Somebody took the head uh the headlights yesterday. <sighs> also, I got HD grill on it. I know I didn't tell you guys. Obviously, you gotta cut it out to fit from a Silverado to a Gen C. Um I'm also gonna buy the cow hood for it. There's the L1. Um let me update you guys on what else I've done. Um Pin it those to match sort of the seats. Oh, I also put seat belts on them because this these NBS have the seat belt on the seat, so I had to make these up. They're universal, so they're pretty good. Put it that put it on there should be it. The seats I got them for fifty bucks a piece, but I'm gonna go ahead and redo these after the swap's done. Uh, I already finally got the Escalade dash. I got to clean it up, but won't clean it up till I get it back from the shop. I know it's going to keep getting dusty over there. I got to put on the airbag and I got to put on the, the glove box. Here's the dash bezel from the Escalade cluster two. Everything's really nice. It's white. I already changed the LEDs on there. I bought this new switch too because that wasn't lighting up or the AC wasn't lighting up. So I'm telling you guys I bought this because new because this wasn't lining up nor the the um, um ac switches and i thought it was a fuse i checked the fuse nothing and i saw a video that it was probably the switch it was a switch thank god um doors are in everything works it's just that the battery is dead so i'm just gonna jump it into the shop and then buy an opt optimal battery tomorrow i just gotta get the wiring done for the power locks i don't know how to do that so i'm gonna have a buddy do it the switches are already, sw uh, already wired for the window. The universal switches, but they're original, um, original uh, regulators. The window that I also tinted it myself. Um, let me. What else I got? Oh, I got a bumper on there. That's the NNBS bumper. Here's the engine. Side. See, I like the escalator one because this is squared and not round. Seats are powered too. It's just that the truck's dead. And I also got these in with the lights. We got it off the same truck. I got the doors. Uh, e fans. I also got the torque converter here. Good thing I can I got it local at Total Transmission Chicago. Check them out, guys. It's a 2800 to 3200 stall. Should be good for the cam I'm gonna be getting. Stay. I'm gonna go with the stage three. Let me get a stage three. If we don't like it, we'll end up changing it. But those are the plans. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna get it to swap done, and then I'm gonna, like around February, the first week of February, last week of January, I'm gonna take it to the shop, get the cam done. Get the nitrous done and bolt on. But right now I just want to get it swapped so I don't have to have the engine sitting here and get that away. Once it's swapped, then I'm gonna lower it and then I'm also gonna be wrapping the truck. I was not gonna wrap, but the doors don't match. I don't know if you can tell. Doors don't match, so I'm gonna end up wrapping it. But yeah, so far that's the update on the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the front bumper. Somebody's gonna pick it up. And then 
um, my friend's gonna come over and we're gonna load up the engine and I'm gonna drop it off the shop tomorrow. Here's the cluster, man. It looks so, so nice with the, I put white lights, but the screen is blue. That's why it looks blue, but I love how it looks. Um, I don't know why the check engine turned off, but it was on. Um, I'm not gonna turn the lights on because obviously I don't have lights on. Oh, should I do that? Um, what the hell? This, these work, but not this one. I'm gonna have to look for one in the jet or whatever. Um, I got the knock sensor. Oh uh, yeah, I got the the sleeves for the spark plugs. I got the O2 sensors from the original engine. I threw out the the headers, the original ones. Uh, these are the lines to swap them out from a V6 to V8. <sighs> Let me show you the sun visors I put on, guys. These trucks don't come with lights, so I put these on. The only thing is, they don't want to clip on here. They don't want to clip on from here because the thing goes right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a magnet right here and a magnet up here so when I go ahead and close it, they hook on because I'm pretty sure when I'm going to be camming and and whatnot, this thing is going to be vibrating. So I'm going to put that magnet on see how that works. If not, I'm going to have to swap them back out. Uh, truck already came with sunroof, if you guys don't know. Uh, I put this on as well. Got it from the junkyard for 40 bucks. I made the, the hole for the sunroof so it looks original factory. There it is. I took the bumper off already. Just waiting on dude to come pick it up. They're also going to come pick up. I sold the driver's side door they should be picking it up too um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and close the garage start wrapping these up and then later on wait for my dude to come so we can go ahead and load it because he has the engine hoist so we're gonna go ahead and load it up and then tomorrow i'll be able to take it to the shop and then i'm gonna go ahead and bring my lightning in i'm gonna go ahead and get my lightning in here tomorrow um i bought a new amp for it because the voice amp went out on it so um i will put a new amp on a new amp on it for the voice i just finished these headlights for an srt8 let me show you guys so yeah i guess when they're on i'm gonna tell them to get them both but it's double projected this one and this one Finally got the engine in the truck already. Let me show you guys. It was a hassle, man. It was a hassle. I got all sweaty. I just got out the shower. It was a mess. Let me show you. What is this? I guess what we lifted it up. It started pouring from the tranny. But it's all in. Ready to drop off tomorrow at the at the shop. Excited. I also finished wrapping the the headers. Let me show you guys. Here are the headers. Okay, one thing I did not know, and I'm gonna tell you guys: wear gloves, wear long sleeves because fiberglass will fall on your hands. Right now, it's horrible. It's itchy. It's like the fifth time I wash my hands. I still feel itchiness from all the fiberglass. <sighs> so I don't know what I'm gonna have to do for that. Of course, here's my garage all dirty. My pops is gonna kill me tomorrow, but I mean, obviously I cleaned it up, so he shouldn't be mad. Oh shit, look at all that oil. Oh my God. So I'm on the way to drop the truck off. Um, I got the bag following me during my lunch hours because I don't have a front end, so I can't drive it. When I'm off at five, I can't drop it off at five because it's dark out and I don't have a front end or lights or anything. So I'm gonna take it. It's literally down the block, but I gotta pump fuel first. So I'm gonna pump some gas and then we'll go ahead and over there. There's a little 7 Eleven over here. I think it's probably the first time I ever put gas on it. So I'm gonna put half a tank. Here's the engine. Uh, here's the whip It has no front and it was hilarious. I was driving it like that and no plates <sighs> But um, he should be coming in, in a few minutes and he's gonna pull it in so, Pro charge 
Damn, that's a you saw you guys saw that SRT8. That thing's whippled, but I thought it was pro charge because um, he took it in the shop because the pulley was squeaking, and I th I thought it was that it was gonna be pro charge, but it's whippled, dude. That thing's amazing. I was gonna get footage of it, but the owner was there. He's un polaco, y, y como que le molestó when I took that quick video, so right away I had to cut it. But that's it for the video. Um, that's just uh, the beginning on the truck. I dropped it off already. Um, I'm gonna head back to work. And um, um, I'm gonna try to come back tomorrow, or I think he's gonna start on it tomorrow or uh, Thursday. He's gonna end up um, taking it off and all that. Uh, I'm gonna sell the V6 if anybody interested in it, at like 150 or 200 with transmission um, and uh, harness and uh, what's it called? Uh, the cluster. Um, that's basically it. I don't have no more parts, so I sold the bumper. I have the grill. Oh, the grill's probably gone today, too. Um, the seats are gone. Doors. I just sold the last door this morning. Um, so that's it. No more parts that are being sold. Uh, oh, I think just the hood. That's it. Stock hood. That's it at the house. But other than that, um, that's it. See you guys in the next one. Make sure you like, subscribe it. Uh, leave in the comments what else you guys want to see on the truck. I'll try to put more footage on there. If you guys want to see a separate video on how I did the seatbelts on the NBS as well, shoot me a message, uh, comment. I will, I can do that as well. Thank you. See you guys.